Welcome to my second video on simplifying radicals. Here in this example we have the fourth root of 80x to the fifth times y cubed. And in my last video when we were simplifying cube roots uh, we factored and we tried to find groups of three. And we're going to use the same idea for this example as well uh, but since we have a fourth root we're going to try to find groups of four. So this will make a lot more sense once we get started. Let's start by factoring the inside of this fourth root. And I'm going to give myself as much space as possible. And uh, let's start off with this number 80. I'm going to factor this 80 as much as possible until we have all prime numbers. So we know that 80 is an even number, so you can be, it's divisible by 2. So 80 is equal to 2 times 40. And 40 can be factored uh, even further, so I'm going to erase this 40 and rewrite it as 2 times 20. So 40 is equal to 2 times 20, and the 20 can be factored even further, so I'm going to erase the 20 and rewrite it as 2 times 10. And I'm going to continue this process uh, with the 10. Uh, the 10 can be rewritten as 2 times 5, so I'm going to erase the 10 and rewrite that as 2 times 5. So now we have completely factored the number 80 with all prime numbers, and we haven't changed a thing. We have 2 times 2, which is 4, 4 times 2, which is 8, 8 times 2, which is 16, 16 times 5 is 80, which is what we started with. So we still haven't changed anything. So now let's move on to our x to the fifth term x to the fifth is just x multiplied by itself five times. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. And we can do the same exact thing with our y term. Our y cubed is just y multiplied by itself three times. So we have 1, 2, 3 y's. So now we've completely factored the inside of our radical. And once again, since we have a fourth root, uh, we want to find groups of four. Um, and notice how we have a group of four twos here on the left. And we also have a group of four x's here in the middle. And that's it. We have no other groups of four. And the idea is we want to separate all of these groups of four. So let's start with this group of twos. I'm going to separate this group of four twos. So we have the fourth root of one, two, three, four twos. And now I'm going to do the same thing with our group of x's. So we have the fourth root of one, two, three, four x's. And in our last radical, we need to put everything that we have that's left over. Um, so notice how we have a five left over on the inside, so we need to put a 5 on the inside of our roots. Uh, notice how we also have a x that's left over on the inside, so we need to put an x on the inside of the radical. And notice how we have three y's that are left over on the inside, so we also need to put three y's on the inside of our radical. So what we just did in this step is just a basic property of radicals. Um, if you're multiplying on the inside of the root, um, you can separate them as long as you continue uh, to multiply. And at this point, um, the only thing we have left to do is just simplify this for our solution. So if we start with these four twos, the fourth root of four twos is just two. The fourth root of four x's is just x. And our last radical can't be simplified much. We have a five on the left and we have our x. And instead of writing y three separate times, you can just say y cubed. So this is the solution to our problem. 2x multiplied by the fourth root of 5x times y cubed. So I hope this gave you a better idea on simplifying radicals. Um, I'm going to be making many more videos in the future, uh, so stay tuned. I really hope that you are enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.